job. You found me. Exciting stuff, huh? Can you say hello? I don't have time to play. I just want everybody to say hello to you. Everyone. <laughs> This is Taco. Oh, he's scared. Sorry, bubs. Hi. He is uninterested. Oh. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. He found the soft blanket. Oh, no. Taco's not for you. He's sniffing them all. What do you think, bud? Oh, the lavender scrub. Very sophisticated man, Taco. No! It's not for you. Oh, no. That's, yep. That's where he's going to sit now. Good boy. Good job. You can sit there, but I have to show that eventually, you know? Ugh, you're pretty cute. Okay, we have to start. I knew that was gonna happen. But he's just so darn cute. Oh my gosh. Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kimmy, and I just got back from my Disney cruise vacation about four days ago, and I'm going to show you everything that we got. I'm going to show you the things that we bought, and then I'm also going to show, I have it laid down in front of me, <laughs> plus this little pup. He is asleep. Amazing. So, I'm going to show you everything that we bought as a family, and then everything that was included, complimentary, free, plus like the little souvenir things that I kept that most people wouldn't, but I like to keep like the little paper things that they give you. So, let's get started. I'm so excited. Let's start with the things that we paid real dollar money for. So, what's nice about the Disney Cruise is like in the parks, instead of scanning your magic band to pay for things, you just scan your key to the work world card. Is that important? No. But okay, here we go. So there are stores on the ships, there's stores in the ports, there's shops on Castaway Key. Sorry, I'm getting really distracted. We're just gonna start. So I'm gonna start with this postcard, I guess. We usually send, oh no, the glare. Okay, we usually send postcards from either the ship or Castaway Key. This time we didn't. The last time we sent something from Castaway Key, we couldn't even really see the Castaway Key stamp and we didn't go and get stamps and we didn't fill it out. So we just have it. I think we might frame it. It's really cute. I like Stitch. <laughs> Ready to pull Donald's plug on his tube. And then there's just a bunch of cute Easter eggs. So that's really, really cute. Technically my sister got this, my mom got this, but it's kind of just the family's now. We'll frame it and put it somewhere. Cute! <laughs> okay, next, pins. I really love pins. I have two bulletin boards full of them and I have limited myself to one a trip. So this was mine for the trip. It is the Disney fantasy little emblem at the, what is it, the back of the ship with Dumbo very cute i don't have any pins from any of the specific ships i have a disney cruise line pin and castaway key pin but this was perfect because i like a pin that will represent the trip for me not gonna focus again that's okay so yeah this was my pin for the trip liz's pin for the trip my sister was a castaway key one with pluto and mickey and a little welcome to castaway key oh no there we go Welcome to Castaway Key sign. Very cute. Haven't seen this since our last cruise, which was three years ago, excuse me. And then mom's pin, she actually got this when we were resort hopping in Riviera. I think she got this. Yeah, which by the way, beautiful, love that resort. So she got this, obviously this is everywhere. We saw it on the ship. We saw it in most of the Walt Disney World stores. It's been out for a while, I think. But yeah, this was mom's pin. This is actually her first Pin. We've been going to the park since I was two and she, this was her first pin. I'm pretty sure and she wants to collect Minnie and Mickey So this is perfect. I've always said I've wanted to collect characters dressed as other characters I have a mini dressed as Tinkerbell and I thought that'd be cool to try and collect characters dressed as other characters My sister has the Mickey and Minnie dressed as Mary Poppins and Bert. That is really cute. So I Think that's what I'm gonna do next I love how Taco's just sleeping next to me. He's so cute. Okay, those are the pins. Now we are going on to clothes. I really wanted another shirt like this. This we got from our last cruise in 2017. It has the, you know, the type of t-shirts that have the thing on the left and then like the whole back. So I'll show you. But this says Disney Cruise Line. It's this nice orange color. And then it's a nice big Mickey with castaway key. So it's like, can you hear me? Um, <laughs> it's like a big 
241 because oh no it just came untied that's okay um it has disney cruise line on the front castaway key on the back so that's why i really liked it we got this on castaway key and i really wanted another shirt that had olaf on it i remember i think it was green though and it was the same type of deal with the thing and I saw it and I was like, no, I won't get it now, I'll come back. And then when we came back, the store was closed. So I ended up getting this. Is that right? I got this on the ship maybe? I don't remember. But I remember, oh gosh, I'm just... Yeah, so I remember, I love this shirt. I'm glad I got this shirt, but I remember wanting the Olaf one. And so on Castaway Key, when we were shopping, we found this tank, which I really wanted a Castaway Key specific t-shirt, but this will do because the other Castaway Key t-shirts weren't my style. They were like almost manly. They were weird. Like the font, like they weren't cute. I don't know but they were like weird colors and I don't know. But this is like a racer back tank, ooh, cute. And it has Olaf and everything summer and it says Castaway Key, Disney Cruise Line? No, it says Castaway, Disney's Castaway Key, Bahamas, wow. So this will be a nice summer tank. Wear it to the parks, wear it in the summer, wear it on the lake. What's this number? What does this mean? Anybody know what this means? I don't know, but yeah, really cute. Okay, I gotta keep going because I'm taking too long for each thing. That was my only piece of clothing. I got a pin and clothing and then like a million other things that I kept that technically were included. Liz, oh yeah, I guess we all got one piece of clothing. Liz got these like sleeping shorts, I guess. Sleeping shorts, pajama shorts. These were definitely on the boat. I remember that. And they have anchors and the Disney Cruise Line logo and Minnie's bow and a star and it says life's better at sea and ahoy and port. Oh, there's a lot of stuff on here. So yeah, as you can see, they're a little short. No matter like what size you get, they're like booty shorts. So if you're into that kind of thing, and and they're really, really soft. Polyester elastic and viscose. I don't know what any of that means. But yeah, they're like a nice stretchy material and they're not like cotton, but they're pretty, they're stretchy. I don't know, they're really nice. Cute, okay. Good pick, Liz. Now, of course, my dad didn't buy anything for himself. Like, come on, that's stupid. So we had to get this for him. <laughs> this is Captain Mickey. Oh my goodness, he has this exact same shirt with just Mickey Mouse without the captain hat. Same style, same gray, heathery gray. But this was just perfect for him. So that's that. Here you go, dad. Cheers. <laughs> Oh, it's cute. If he didn't want it, I would have taken it, but that's not how gifts work. Okay, last thing, this, oh no. Oh, my mom got two things. <laughs> so since we went to Tortola first, I'll show her tank top. Tortola, BVI, British Virgin Islands. I can't say anything today. Palm tree, sun, beach, waves. Umbrella, Tortola, tie-dye, and just naming things that you can see. She said I could wear this whenever I want. So thanks, mom. It's really cute. My mom loves some pink and some orange. She actually has a Mickey tie-dye t-shirt that she made at Wilderness Lodge, but this is her only other piece of tie-dye. So there you go. Good pick, mom. That's the only thing we bought on Tortola. They had some really cute shops on the pier though. Like there were these really cute shorts and really cute dresses. And in St. Thomas, there were t-shirts, like the same style as this that my mom told me about, but Liz and I didn't go into the shops. So yeah, I wanted a St. Thomas t-shirt, but I didn't get one. It's fine, I have enough. I've have enough t-shirts okay this is the second thing my mom bought it is a castaway key very light very um thin sweatshirt zip up we actually saw like a mom wearing this when we were getting off the boat and i didn't think they would have it i don't know why i thought that but i was like oh maybe it's from like a couple years ago or many years ago because it looks kind of like vintagey i don't know but yeah here's it it's a little wrinkly I just washed it, come on. Okay, so yeah, it has Castaway Key Bahamas, these three gorgeous watercolor flowers. And I don't know if you can tell, but all the gold is sparkly gold. Oh my goodness, so cute. And then the back is what we saw first because the person was in front of us. And look at that mini Mickey sunset. Come on, who came up with that? That's incredible. <laughs> I'm so dumb. Okay, so yeah, this is the back. Same thing, the gold is sparkly gold, almost like glitter glue, but make it Disney, make it fashion. Um, 
So the nice Mickey sunset with the water and more big Hawaiian looking but also bohemian looking flowers and leaves. Again, good pick mom. I actually wore this on the plane ride home under my other sweatshirt because I was very, very cold. So this was a perfect under layer. But this is actually a really good thing for um, if you don't want to be super hot on the island but you also don't want to get sunburned or if you sunburn easily. This is like so thin. It's a perfect cover up. It's a perfect like summer zip up if you want to like be covered but also not be sweating. Amazing. Okay, let's do this. We've done two, now we've done three cruises, but the first two cruises, we didn't even step foot in Census Spa. We like, we had no reason to go in there. This time we learned they had raffles, so we went in there. My dad won a raffle, congrats, but they had certain stipulations. You had to spend $100 to use $50 off, blah, blah, blah. So my mom got, she got a manicure and pedicure, but my mom used the rainforest room for a day. She got a day pass to the rainforest room. There you go. You can go into certain saunas and showers and use this scrub which was actually $15 you didn't have to buy this her day pass was $30 I think and then you could get this I didn't do it I don't know but I thought since she bought it and she didn't use it all and brought it home I would show you so it's a lavender there's like no even on the bottom there's no branding there's no nothing there's just a very faded L at the top for lavender lavender you literally can't see it it's there I promise you and then they gave you a little scrubby thing I can smell it and it's like very very oily Oh gosh, I'm gonna spill it. Oh, it looks so gross. But that's the scrub with the lavender seeds. Oh gosh, okay, ready? Wow, look at that. Oh, it smells so strong. Maybe it's separated on the airplane. I don't know. <laughs> there you go, we have a lavender scrub. It smells delicious. I'm sure it worked wonders for my mom's skin and she'll use it in the shower here at home. So. That was $15. Next, we're getting to the end of what we actually bought. So the next thing we actually bought at Pop Century. Century. Yeah, we bought this at Pop Century when we were resort hopping the day before we left for the cruise. And it is for our little baby cousin. Since she was born in 2020, we got, look at how freaking cute. Okay, sorry. <laughs> and it's like the perfect girly little thing with like the frills and the lace. Oh my gosh. So it's a little onesie. 2020 on it. Mickey, Minnie, Epcot, the castle, Goofy, Chippendale, Tower, Tree of Life. How cute. I don't know how baby clothes work. I'm sure she will fit into this at some point in her baby life. But yeah, it's <laughs> all the baby clothes at Disney are just the best. So I hope she likes this and her mom and dad like this. Incredible. Okay, next. Magic bands. We stayed at All Star Sports. I got a red one. Boring. My sister spent the extra $10 and got a Goofy Movie Powerline one. And did she forget to bring it? Yes, she did. <laughs> oh, my legs are getting sore. <laughs> she can wear this the next time she goes to the parks. But yeah, Goofy Movie on one side. Gorgeous. Regular blue, Mickey, and then Powerline wonderful and since this was my technically my graduation trip we put graduate on the inside oh gosh come on there we go so yeah those were the magic bands i honestly didn't even need them we didn't go to a park we just needed them to open our door and we could have done that on our phone anyway but yeah magic bands incredible so that will bridge the gap because technically we didn't have to pay for my red one into what we got for free included whatever oh crap no sorry we got um the reusable bags these are the medium size we got the regular cruise line one and the castaway key one i think the small ones are a dollar these ones were a dollar fifty the big ones were two dollars i think so disney cruise line the four icons they used the ship mickey minnie and uh captain's wheel with the logo and disney cruise line DisneyCruiseLine.com. What does it say? Reduced reuse. Yes. Made from 80% recycled plastic bottles. Tight. Disney.com slash environment. Wow. Incredible. Actually, I love this idea because it's not really an idea. I love that they sell these now because it gets rid of the use for like a million and a half of these plastic bags. And these are perfect for running around grocery shopping just whenever you need like a little bag like this. So yeah, that was the cruise line one. This is the Castaway Key one. Wow, Castaway Key, so cute. Okay, come on, work with me here. Wow, 
cute simple love it and then mickey mini a beach chair and the ship oh my gosh so cute and then obviously the same thing on these sides love that i'm glad we got one of each because i don't know you could collect them i don't know they're pretty cute i mean come on they're cute okay can't see my head i'm so sorry the last thing we bought is this blanket talk okay i'll show you later but it's a star wars day at sea fuzzy blanket that my sister got really so if you can see no you can't i will show you a full thing of what it looks like because i'm not moving him because he's just too cute Okay, that's the last thing. My sister got a blanket. It has been on her bed since we got home. Dang it, I have to fix this. Okay, one second. I'm sorry, I literally always forget something. But we also purchased pictures that we just purchased a digital download. So I didn't have any pictures to show you, but here they are. We only got two. And guess how much each one cost? $21. That's crazy. You could either pick a digital download or a print or like a USB. So you didn't get both for $20. Last time we got two prints. This time we wanted the digital one and the ability to print in whatever size we wanted. That's what we did. Pictures. That's what I also needed to tell you. So yeah. I also forgot to tell you we got this rum cake in St. Thomas. It was pineapple flavored. We gave it to our grandma. She loved it. She said it was delicious and we're back okay okay we can do this it seems like a lot but it's not okay here we go these were the things that were complimentary included free whatever you want to call it since we have done disney cruises before we are part of the castaway club oh my goodness and each time you sail again you get a little gift one per stateroom so this time we got this crossbody backpack wow we actually didn't use this because about 75 percent of the ship had it and we didn't want it to like get confused with anybody's yeah we haven't used it yet but we will definitely it's a great park bag too it's spacious has enough zippers to separate your stuff from your sister's stuff from your parents stuff so yeah a little water bottle holder here great i don't know why i brought this up but i want to show what we got from our first time as castaway club members aka the second cruise that we went on we used this like every day and it's another bag and it's like a beach bag i don't know why i'm showing this because literally oops that's our old address that's our old address <laughs> i just want to show it because we used it more i don't know that was last cruises castaway club gift bag next we'll do standard castaway club lanyard and obviously this has to be included your key to the world i use this every day i this is how i carried around my key card my dad just kept it in his wallet but most people have their stuff on lanyards which is really helpful but yeah it says disney cruise line castaway club hold on here we go Ooh. ah amazing and then here was the key to the world card I'll just take it out. Okay, everybody just relax. Amazing. So, um, this was the assembly station in case of emergency. Don't know what A and P A are, but we sailed from the 22nd to the 29th on the Fantasy, Silver Castaway Club member, and then our dinner time was the second seating at 8.15, we were table 47, and on the bottom you can see what our rotation was, so we went from Royal Court to Animator's Palette, Enchanted Garden, Royal Court, Animator's Palette, Animator's Palette, and ended in Enchanted Garden, yes. So that is, why am I shaking, whoa. So yeah, that is key to the world card. Key to the world card. Cute! Next, for every, I'm pretty sure every Bahama cruise, you have a pirate night because Pirates in the Caribbean, Caribbean, hello, smart. So when your stateroom host cleans your room for the first time in the morning, turn, not turn down service, turn up service. I don't know what you call it. The morning of pirate night, pirate day, everybody in your party, everybody in the stateroom gets a Pirates of the Caribbean bandana with pirate Mickey on it. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know what else to say. Everybody usually wears these, which is really fun. And it's perfect if you don't have any pirate themed outfit, throw this on, oh my goodness. 
and you're a pirate, baby. So yeah, that was included in the cruise. Amazing. Next thing under the same umbrella, which we didn't know we were getting, we were fortunate enough to have a Star Wars Day at Sea. I think it's only in January and February. That's what our server said, if I remember what he said correctly. This was the only one we got, one per stateroom. This like Star Wars Day at Sea banner. Like that's so fun. Very like old school y, right? Star Wars Day at Sea, hello. Cool, I think we'll hang this in our basement maybe. I don't know. But if you're a Star Wars fan, hang it in your room, hang it in your door room, put it on a flag post, let it blow in the wind. <laughs> yeah, I really enjoyed this. I actually ironed it because it was really like folded. So I probably shouldn't be scrunching it up. So yeah, one last time, this banner we got, which was very unexpected. We were very excited about it. Incredible. What's next? Let's do the postcards that were in the stateroom. So we did not send any, like I said, but we took these because they were there. And that's what you can do, right? I'm assuming. <laughs> so they gave you two. This one is just of the ship, Disney Cruise Line. There's always magic aboard a Disney cruise. Cool. Wow. Ooh, that's a good shot of the ship with the sunset on the ocean. Sorry, okay. Postcard, great. Second postcard of Mickey and Minnie looking all cute in Minnie's new outfit. And this one says, ahoy from your Disney Cruise Line pals. Cool. But look at them looking snazzy. Incredible, very cute. Okay, this is maybe the dumbest thing, no. There's something dumber. <laughs> but every night for turn down service, your stateroom host, hostess, will put chocolate on the bed. And I thought they were just regular Ghirardelli chocolates, milk chocolate, which is my favorite. Thank you so much, Disney, for doing milk chocolate and not dark chocolate. But the reason I'm showing you this, I'm not just showing you a piece of chocolate, it says Disney Cruise Line. <laughs> That's why I'm showing it. Oh gosh, there she is, Disney Cruise Line. I didn't know this until I was about to eat this yesterday and then I looked on it and saw Disney Cruise Line. It was branded with some pixie dust too. I think that might be added. So yeah, that's that. Included every night, each person gets one. Except pirate night, you get little gold doubloons, little gold chocolate coins, which somebody ate before I could look at them or take a picture, but it's fine. We actually had, which is weird for us to have this leftover because we usually eat them right away. <laughs> but we had so many desserts at dinner every night that we couldn't eat any more chocolate, so we took some home. So yeah, that's a pretty dumb thing to show you, but it's exciting to me. Okay, next thing that is actually something tangible and not chocolate. We did the Castaway Key 5K, oh my goodness, and they give you a medal at the end of it, free of extra charge. <laughs> so this was this year's, this cruise's medal. It's not like metal, it's like rubbery. I don't know what you wanna call it, but it's bendy, probably good because it's less breakable, less, heavy, lighter, and yeah, and then the necklace part, whatever you want to call it, is blue with some designs, and then Castaway Key 5K. There we go. Yes, incredible, and then you will see I save every little paper souvenir type thing. So I saved all of our bibs. I thought we would get Mickey on our, um, medals, but we didn't. It's just the cruise ship on this one, but on the bib, Mickey's looking real determined to finish this 5k. Wow. So yeah, I keep these, this kind of stuff because some effort was put into it. It's not just a number. There's some graphic design. There's some color. It's not black and white. I appreciate it. Saving it. <laughs> okay, next. So I'm gonna show you, it's not something I bought, but I have a Disney white hat that I wanted to get signatures on. So I'll show you that, why not? So I got this when I was on my Disney college program at Cast Connection. Um, it's actually kind of dirty, <laughs> but I wanted to get more signatures on it whenever we came across a character because you always like can run into them with no line. Whenever that happened, I didn't have this hat in my Sharpie, but I did have it when we met Goofy, Max, and your pal Mickey Mouse. So I will be taking this every time I go to a Disney park now to get signatures on it because there's a lot of room left. And 
I wanted to get Stitch and oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I woke him up because I'm talking too loud about characters. But yeah, I wanted to get more, but I didn't. That's okay. I also debated about instead of doing a hat, like a t-shirt, but I think this is a good idea, right? Incredible. Okay, next we're gonna do... It literally doesn't matter. Okay, I'll show you what I kept from our port adventures. I was very lucky to do two, one on Tortola and one at St. Thomas. Didn't do one on Castaway Key, which is probably good because they canceled everything that required wind because it was too windy. The snorkeling and the stingrays, I think, still went. Any like parasailing or something, which we would have done, got canceled. But we didn't do parasailing. We did zip lining and swimming with dolphins. Oh my goodness. Okay, so zip lining in Tortola. We got the Disney Cruise Line Port Adventure ticket. It was a canopy tour zipline and scenic drive. Unfortunately, during our scenic drive, it was raining and cloudy. So they were stopping to show us the pretty views of like the ocean and the other islands, but it was raining. But yeah, these were the port tickets we got. They are delivered to your door and then they rip off a good chunk of it, probably like two thirds of it. But you get to keep these. So I kept those and they give you stickers to put, like I, I save this kind of stuff, I'm sorry. And I put it on the given, oh, they gave you paper and I put this on it. <laughs> they gave you some Disney Cruise Line paper. So I put the stickers on it. My sticker and Liz's sticker dead through his way because obviously. So yeah, those are the two stickers for zip lining. And then the next day at St. Thomas, Liz and I swam with dolphins, which was her like childhood dream. So we had to do it. So the stickers for those ones for that day was Pongo and the port adventure tickets looked the exact same, but at St. Thomas swimming with dolphins. So cute. And then, see, this is probably the dumbest thing I saved. It's the wristband. I think people save these, right? Come on. I'm being too hard on myself. But yeah, they are, oopsies, hello? Yes, okay. Oh no, there's a spider on my window. Okay, dolphin wristband, super cute. My sister kept it on for like two days because <laughs> she loved it so much. But yeah, I save this kind of stuff. Swimming with the dolphins, spin in the ocean with the dolphins. And then the last thing I saved from Port Adventures was the map to Coral World. Coral World, which is where, oh, the spider, is where we swam with the dolphins. So I saved the map because it's pretty cute. Looks like it's hand drawn and I'm a sucker for like a free souvenir. And this also helped explain to my parents what we all did because the dolphins are over here and we walked through stuff and everything and there were sea turtles over here and yeah, Coral World map amazing okay we're getting there guys the next thing i'm going to show you are the polaroids i took because again they weren't free i paid for my camera and my film and whatever but i just wanted to show them so the first picture i'm going to show you is of my sister lying in bed because she is very seasick and oh goodness i love her so much <laughs> she after we got back from dinner she literally just like laid down in bed because it was pretty bumpy we were going through a storm so i just had to capture the moment. Thank you, Liz. Um, the next one is of... No, that's not the next one. The next one is of... I think it's of St. Thomas. They look very similar. Okay, this was Tortola. <laughs> Just a Polaroid of the island. You can barely tell it's an island, but you can see some land and some water and some sky and i love it so yeah that was tortola then i took a picture of the is this the funnel i don't know but the very iconic disney cruise line thingy magic but yeah that's another one and then this was of castaway key i took this again on the top deck by goofy's mini golf Again, it may not look like much, a lot of blue, but up close you can see the island. And then this is all the girls, mom, Liz, and I on Castaway Key. Dad took this very beautifully, good job, Dad. And I love all the umbrellas, different colored umbrellas on Castaway Key. Adorable, good job, Dad. Good Polaroid skills. Okay, a couple more things. I'm going to show you the pins we traded. I love pins. Like I said, I would enjoy watching somebody show me what pins they traded. So I'm going to show you. So I usually have like three pins that I would like to trade at all times. I traded a Russell, a Cruella de Vil, and a Boo. A Boo from, not from Aladdin, from Monsters, Inc. Uh, Boo pin. You know what I mean? Okay, so I got, actually my sister traded for me for this at the pin trading night on the 
ship, but it's a little Dumbo, super cute. And then these two I got when we went to dinner at Yacht Club in their store. Steamboat Willie, Steamboat Mickey, whatever you wanna call them. Amazing, and then Minnie Mouse. Her old fashioned, but kind of new fashion look with her little flower hat. Incredible. So those three were mine. I gave, did I give her a pin to trade? My mom traded a pin. I don't know how that happened, but she traded for this Minnie Mouse. So I'm sure this will be her pin to trade. Whenever she sees a better one or a Mickey and Minnie one possibly, she can trade for this. I know you really like this one, mom, but I've seen cuter minis and I know you have too. So keep on trading this one. And then my sister got both of these at the pin trading night. She got a sadness, which is just the best. Come on. Adorable. And then she also got a Peter Pan's flight, which I've never seen before. And I also thought it would be a kind of cool thing to try and collect all the attractions. So maybe that will be her next thing. I know she has quite a few of them already, but yeah, Peter Pan's flight. Good job, Liz, good trading. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, last couple things. If you're still here, wow, I'm so proud of you. It means a lot to me because these next things are probably only exciting to me, but I saved all of the like paper things that um, we did at our days at sea when we were just like doing trivia and animation academies and crafts. So the first thing we did was trivia possibly. So we did four trivias. We did three movie trivias, one Marvel, which I thought we would do better at, but who knows what Happy's real name is. We didn't, but yeah, I kept these because at the top, it's so cute. And then we did a um, ultimate Disney trivia, which we not, did not do well at because we didn't know about Doc McStuffins. And then we did a um, like generic movie quote thing, which I didn't know anything about, but my dad did, so that's that. And then our fourth one was Star Wars trivia, which we did the worst at, and I just like the top. It's special, it's different. You can see that we didn't do well. <laughs> so that was where the trivia sheets I kept. Then I did a Animation Academy. They don't look that great. <laughs> so the first one I did was Forky. Not the worst, not the best. That gum at the bottom, not good. But the girl, oh, what was her name? Who was teaching it? Phenomenal, so good. And then Jack Jack, his eyes are not good, not good but could be worse. You don't realize how weird his hair is until you have to draw it, man. It's just like a triangle. So yeah, Forky and Jack-Jack. He literally has turned his head because I've been talking for a long time. How rude. Anyway, oh gosh, no. I stopped recording because it was taking too long. So yeah, gonna run through these real quick. This was like the first little navigator that we got when we checked in. This one was the cruise highlights. Again, I think we got this when we checked in. It gives an overview of every day. The only real navigator I got was the Star Wars Day at Sea one because they used to give you a paper navigator for every day with every single little thing that's going on in the ship. That is a lot of paper to give out. So I'm glad that they made the app and if you wanted this you can go get it at guest services but we just used the app and we preferred that because it was like with us all the time we didn't have to carry this around so yeah this was the star wars navigator i picked up yeah it's good stuff and then this also was left by our stateroom host star wars day at sea galactic experiences all the themed star wars stuff these were tortola and saint thomas shopping guides what you could buy and see around the ship Oh, and they give you a little um, diagram of the pier where you ported, again, for St. Thomas, which I don't remember getting this, maybe I'm mistaking, but we didn't get one of these for Nassau, which is where we went to the first time we sailed, and I really enjoyed St. Thomas and Tortola because there was stuff like good like shopping stuff within walking distance and there wasn't anybody trying to sell you stuff trying to like heckle you and heckle i don't know but i remember walking off of nassau and being like heckled for like a taxi ride or like shoving like their goods <laughs> their um products in my face which I, you gotta make money it's like a port whatever but i enjoyed that st thomas and tortola docked on a pier that you could go into shops and buy stuff 
and it wasn't kind of like an open marketplace. Well, it was, I don't know. Moving on. Liz picked these up from the Port Adventures deck. These are all of the Port Adventures for Castaway Key. So I kept those, parasailing, snorkeling, bottom fishing, fly fishing, all that stuff. So we, I kept that one. And then this was like a booklet, oh my goodness, for Tortola and St. Thomas. But yeah, she picked that up. There's also a place for you to take notes and plan. Wow, incredible. And they give you like a little facts to know with a cute little Mickey. Adorable. Last couple things. Castaway Key map. Incredible. I don't know what else to say. I don't know. It's, it's the map. I like it. <laughs> and then finally, the last thing I'm going to show you. This was the first time we had the animator's palette night where you drew something and then they animated it on the screens for you. I don't know what it's called, but this was the first cruise we ever got to do it and it was really, really fun. So I'll show you, because I kept them, I'll show you everybody's drawings. And it says, we are official Disney animators. Oh my gosh, give me a job. <laughs> but yeah, this was mom's. Very cute. This was Dad's. Very well done. This was Liz. <laughs> she forgot to draw the body. Like she just, I don't know. Good job, Liz. Job well done. Look at her. And then this was mine. Her face is a little crazy. <laughs> and I didn't really think through the outfits, but yeah, that one was fine. I also forgot these cuties. Mom and I made these during one of our days at sea at a Mickey Mini Crafts little event thing, and they're super cute. We brought them home because they were just too cute to leave. That's everything. Literally every single little thing that came back with us that we didn't arrive with, I showed you, except for the blanket. Oh. Can I show the blanket now? No? Okay. So yeah, here is the blanket that I have been meaning to show you. I need to take this blanket. Can I have this? Oh, it's warm. <laughs> I know, it's very soft. Tuck, please? No. Please, can I have it? Don't put your nose in it. Look at me. Oh. Please, just for this shot. Thank you. Do you want to go back on it now? There you go. Oh, oh wow, that's really cute. So yeah, that's the blanket. So that's everything. I hope you enjoyed watching and listening to me ramble about Disney things that I love. Thank you so much for helping me, Taco. You did a great job. And that's it for this Disney Cruise Line series. I hope you enjoyed. I really, really loved filming on the cruise and right now, very fun. Okay, literally one more thing. I filmed every day. I didn't say that if that wasn't clear or whatever. I filmed every day of the cruise, so if you wanna go see that, I have a playlist you can click right up here. It'll take you, why am I out of breath? It'll take you to every single day of my Disney cruise vacation. So if you wanna see that, if you like Disney vlogs, if you like cruise line vlogs, I did that. So you can go watch it. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe because there will be more Disney content coming your way very, very soon. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. I'm eating my chocolate now. I wanted you to share in this experience with me. Oh no, it's broken. Oh my gosh. It's delicious. Okay, thank you. Bye. <laughs>